Welcome to my presentation. In this presentation, let us look at some examples related to vector, vector triple products. So, in this example, if A is a vector and if the components of this vector are 3i minus j plus 2k and if vector B has components 2i 2i let me write this a little better this is 2i plus j minus k and if vector c is given as i minus 2j plus 2k then we want to show that vector a dot vector b cross c is equal to vector b dot vector c cross a and then that is the same as vector c dot vector a cross vector b okay so to get started we will take we'll call this as the left hand side of the equation and then we will call this as um, x and we'll call this as y for just convenience sake okay so we will first solve the left hand side of the equation and in here we have vector a dot b cross c and we're going to first perform the cross product and then perform the dot product but one of the properties of triple products is telling us that when we have vector a dot b cross c we can use the determinants to find the value of this so to to, to do that we're going to uh, write the coefficients of vector A components, the coefficient of B components, and coefficient of C components in a determinant uh, form, and then this is how it's going to look like. The coefficient of I is 3 for vector A, coefficient of J for vector A is negative 1, and then the coefficient of K is 2, and then we'll write the coefficients of I, J, and K for, for vectors B and C, and those are going to be 2, 1, negative 1, and then for C it is 1, negative 2, and then 2. So in here, if we were to expand this, we're going to get the value for uh, vector A dot B cross C. So let us try that. In here, we want to travel along the first row, and then the sign convention for this is going to be positive negative positive the way we want to expand this determinant is as follows we're going to we're going to expand um, along the first row and then the way to write it out is as follows three the minor of that is going to be one negative one negative two two and then negative of negative one and the minor of that is going to be two negative one one two and then plus 2, the minor of that is going to be 2, 1, 1, negative 2. When we expand this, we're going to get 3 times 1 times 2 is 2 minus negative 2 times negative 1 is positive 2. Therefore, times negative will be a negative 2. And then negative times negative is a positive 1. And then 2 times 2 is 4 minus 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 times negative will be positive 1 and then plus 2 times uh, 2 times negative 2 is negative 4 1 times 1 is negative 1 so when we simplify this this is going to be 2 minus 2 this is going to go to 0 so therefore 3 times 0 is 0 then 4 plus 1 is 5 5 times 1 is 5 and then negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5, negative 5 times 2 
is negative 10 and therefore when we simplify this it is going to simplify to negative 5 therefore the value of a dot b cross c is negative 5 so let's take the second part and we call that as x and we will try to expand that the second part of the uh, property is telling us that if we take b vector b and then dot product that with uh, vector c cross vector a and we'll see what we get from from here so here again we can write it in the determinant form and the way to write it out is as follows we're going to pick the coefficients of uh, i j and k for these respective vectors and for to start we have vector b and the coefficients of vector uh, the b for i j and k are as follows 2 1 negative 1 and then for c the coefficients of i is 1 the coefficient of j is negative 2 and the coefficient of k is 2 and vector a the coefficient of i is 3 the coefficient of j is negative 1 and the coefficient of k is positive 2 so once we find the determinant of this that should give us the value for this particular um, expression we're looking for b dot c cross a <coughs> here again we go to expand along the first row and the sign convention we're going to use is positive negative positive and therefore let us expand this this is going to be 2 the minor of that is going to be negative 2 2 negative 1 2 and then negative 1 the minor of that is going to be 1 2 3 and 2 and then um, this is a negative 1 so therefore this is going to be negative 1 the minor of that is 1 negative 2 3 negative 1 right and therefore we can now expand this and when we expand we're going to get uh, 2 times negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 negative 1 times 2 is negative 2 times negative will be positive 2 minus 1 times 1 times 2 is 2 minus 3 times 2 is 6 minus 1 times 1 times negative 1 is negative 1 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 but with a negative sign will be positive 6 so therefore negative 4 times negative 4 plus 2 is uh, negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 negative 2 times 2 is negative 4 2 minus 6 is negative 4, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4, and then we have negative 1 plus 6 is 5, 5 times negative uh, 1 is negative 5. So therefore when we simplify this, the negative 4 and positive 4 cancels out, leaving us with negative 5. So we seem to be on the right track here. We got a, we got a negative 5 here, we got a negative 5 here. So let us uh, let us look at the next uh, the one one more uh, property one one more part of the property which says if we have vector c and if we wait to dot that with vector a cross vector b like that and if we wait to simplify that we we go to get a product and then the, if that product is equal to negative five then we have proved that proved this property. To do this, we're going to uh, pick the coefficients of i, j, and k for these, uh, the, for uh, vectors c, a, and b respect respectively, and find the determinant of that. So the the for the coefficients of c are the coefficients of vector c uh, are the uh, the coefficients of i is one, the coefficient of j is negative two, the coefficient of k is positive 2 and then the coefficients of i for vector a is 3 where uh, the coefficients of j is negative 1 and the coefficient of k is 2 the coefficient for for vector b the coefficients of i are 2 the coefficients of j is 1 and the coefficient of k is negative 1 and if you find the determinant of this we should be able to find a value for that so we'll travel along the first row and uh, the sign convention is positive negative positive so therefore when we expand this this is how this is what we're going to get one 
the minor of that is going to be negative 1, 2, 1, negative 1. Then the minus of minus 2 and the minor of that is going to be 3, 2, 2, negative 1. And then plus 2, the minor of that is 3, negative 1, 2, 1. And if we were to expand this, we're going to get 1 times negative 1 times, times negative 1 is positive 1. Minus 1 times 2 is 2. Then negative times negative is a positive 2 times 3 times negative 1 is negative 3. Negative 3 minus 2 times 2 is 4. Plus 2 times 3 times 1 is 3. Um, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2 times negative will be positive 2 so therefore we have 1 minus 2 is negative 1 so negative 1 times 1 is negative 1 then negative 3 plus negative 4 is negative 7 negative 7 times 2 is negative 14 and then 3 plus 2 is 5 5 5 times 2 is 10 so therefore when we simplify this negative 1 plus negative 14 is negative 15 negative 15 plus 10 is negative 5 therefore all of these values are exactly the same the when we when we did a uh, product of c dot a cross b or when we did uh, a product of b dot c cross a or when we did a product of a cross b cross b cross c we got the same value and therefore we can come back here and then say this property is true therefore a dot b cross c is the same as vector b dot vector c cross vector a and that is the same as saying vector c dot vector a cross vector b all of these mean the same thing we found that when we did this the value came out as negative 5 when we simplified this the value came out as negative 5 when we simplified this the value came out as negative 5 and therefore this property is true so in my next presentation we shall look at some more examples related to vector triple products